Hello and welcome to WebDementors YouTube channel and you're watching the programming in Java for beginners series. So in this video we're going to see about variables and data types. Variables. Variables are memory locations reserved for storing values. So if you want to store a value in Java, you need to create a variable. And based on the variable created, the memory will be allocated when the program is executed. So the size of the memory allocated or reserved depends on the data type that you're creating the variable for. So you have to mention the type of the data that you're creating the variable for before running the program. So that's very important and we'll be seeing an example of how to create a variable with the data types. Don't worry about it. So data types. The so data types are the type of data for which the memory will be allocated in the variable. So you have to uh, mention the type of the data the variable has to be created for. So there are two data types available in Java. One is the primitive data types, and the next is the reference or object data types. So what are primitive data types? Primitive data types are predefined in Java. So Java, when created, has a set of data types that has been predefined in Java. So you're not creating, or you can say that primitive data types are not user-defined data types. So you're not going to create any data type. They are already there in Java. So they are named by a keyword. So if you want to create a data type or a variable with that data type, you have to give that name. That is a keyword in order to create that data type. So there are eight primitive data types in Java. They are byte, uh, that is the first data type. And the next is the short, then integer, that is the int, then the long, and float, and double, and then boolean, and character, that is the char. So we'll be seeing each and every data type in detail in the later videos. It's going to come after this. So don't worry about it. I'll show you what are the properties of these data types and how to declare them, how to use them, and various other stuff that is involved with that data type. So next go to the reference data types. So reference data types are created using constructors of the classes that you're creating. So what I can say is that reference data types can be used to define. So if you're creating a class, then when you're creating an object for that class, then that is called a reference data type. So apart from your own classes, there are also classes available in Java. So they also come under the reference data type when you create an object for those classes. So there are nothing but uh, creating object for a class. As I said before, when you create an object for a class, that is called as reference object. So if you're referencing a class using an object, then that is called as a reference data type. So uh, the way to do it is create a fan class object. So I'm creating a fan object, which is the reference object, uh, which is an object of the fan class. So we have seen it in the previous video itself, where I've given you an explanation of what is an object. So this is what it is. It is a reference data type. So there are three variable types uh, that you can see in Java. They are the local variables, and then instance variables and class or static variables. So local variables are declared in methods, constructors, or blocks of codes that you're writing. So these local variables are visible only within the method or the blocks within which it is declared. So if you want to use that local variable outside of that block or a method, it will not be available and it give you an error. So if you want to use uh, variable that you're going to use within that block for example a for loop or a while loop or within a method then you can use the local variable uh, declaration so very important thing that comes with the local variable is that it cannot have default values so values has to be assigned to that local variable and even if it is a null value you have to assign it before running the program so it is very important if you are creating a local variable within a method you have to initialize it at the time of creating it, at least before using it. Instance variable. So instance variables are declared in a class, but outside a method or a constructor or any block of code that you're writing. So you can find the instance variable in a Java class right after the class has been declared. So when you write the class, space, class name, and open the braces, and right after that, you can find the instance variables. So they are available for the entire class, methods, constructors, and blocks. So if you want a single variable 
that uh, you want to use in the entire class with methods or blocks of codes or constructors you can declare them as an instance variable so right at the top of the class when you start the class you can find the instance variable so instance variables are created when an object is created for a class so when you create an object or when you declare an object the instance variables will be created and that's what I said when you create an instance for a class these instance variables will be created it is not necessary to initialize the instance variables so you can just specify the data type of the variable that you're going to create and the name of the variable that you want to give so that's more than enough and you can initialize them within the method or the block of code in which you're going to use it class or static variables class or static variables are declared in a class but outside a method again like uh, what you've seen in the instance variable so you can declare them outside the method constructor or any block with a static key in front of them so the difference between instance variable and class or static variable is that you won't have static keyword before the instance variable so they are available for the entered class methods just like how the instance variable is available but what the difference is the static variables or class variables are created when program starts and destroyed only when the program ends not when the object is garbage collected so if you are creating a static variable for a class that will be the only copy that is created for the entire class so that ends the video for the variables and data types uh, I know it's a little bit vague uh, explanation or the description for each of the data types and variables but we'll be going through uh, with a video for each and every data type and also the variable types so you can understand them briefly so that is the reason why it has been collected into a video and made into a short video without much of a explanation so when you come into an individual video for the data types and variables you will understand them because we will be implementing it directly in order to make it easy for you to understand so thank you for watching this video and if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel so that you can know when the new videos are uploaded to the channel and if you find this video useful please like this video and also share it with your friends and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks please feel free to share it you can share them in the comment section of this video or in the Facebook Google Plus or Twitter feed of our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.